Cozy, a robot that performed every monotonous house chore, was a Jetsons cartoon fantasy born in the 20th century. But UC Berkeley's Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences program has nearly made this American dream a 21st century reality. Everybody's dream, maybe since the 60s, when uh, the Jetsons came out and they had Rosie the robot to see if they can get a robot made in their houses. And of course, as part of the goal here is to build those capabilities that this kind of robot could do a lot of work in your household. Well, move over, Rosie. Berkeley's robot for the elimination of tedious tasks, or bread, is one of 11 robots at universities across the globe utilizing open source software programming to create robots that make human life easier. Although Brett's full potential is yet to be seen, the bot is currently learning the process of folding laundry on its own. With a researcher's initial command, the bot becomes familiar with its environment and reacts accordingly. One of the challenges in uh, making a robot uh, understand laundry is to recognize the differences between articles of clothing, like uh, a t-shirt and a towel. And one of the ways we do something like that is to, is to show Brett, our robot, uh, 50 pictures of a t-shirt and then 50 pictures of a towel. And we tell him that these are towels and these are pictures. And through that, he can extract features from the images of towels and uh, t-shirts in order to understand. The project started about a year and a half ago when robotics company Willow Garage donated the robot to Professor Peter Abiel's robot learning lab at Cal. How do we advance robotics? How do we let the academic community start with a rich platform and then build on top of that? Um, and at Berkeley here, Peter Abiel's group has taken that um, and focused on soft materials. So the ability to, for example, fold towels or fold laundry or do laundry is something that most robotics people don't worry about. We have projects with the PR2 robot on how to manipulate laundry articles. We just as well have project, a project with a surgical robot where we look at how to manipulate suture or potentially tissue in the future. And what we're looking at is try to come up with a unified approach to manipulate all deformable objects. The student researchers in the robot lab are excited for Brett's future endeavors. Robots really are the future, you know. You can see in 50 years time, uh, they'll be helping disabled people, they'll be, uh, they'll be fighting battles for us, they'll be uh, doing our every beck and whim. The open source nature of the project has allowed researchers at the 11 universities to build off of each other's work, from MIT to the University of Tokyo. The programming of each robot is just as diverse, from focusing on navigating a room to stacking sushi plates or even suturing a surgery patient. Does this mean robots may soon be taking over the world? At this point, it's highly doubtful. This general purpose robot still has a ways to go before it will be living in your home. The thing where with research, it's really hard to predict how long it's going to take. It's not going to be tomorrow. It's for sure going to be less than 100 years, but... It's for Cal TV, I'm Ashley Morgan.